over. 30 more There's seconds to go, and we could have a new Overwatch Lake champion. Have Houston have their You're EMP, though. Rally, it's still doable, but this has to be a clean fight. EMP clean the EMP is what they here. need. Coming back into that next fight. This EMP is everything. Pelican can keep his team alive. If he nails this, they're looking for him. OT. He's looking, looking, looking. He wants RuPaul, he knows where he is. He he wants to get him in that, so no Immo. They're trying to bait it. No RuPaul, there it is, there's the Immo! Pelican's down, can you feel it? No, shoes down! That's it! The Florida Mayhem are the 2023 Overwatch League champions! Clean as it gets, a 4-0 for the Mayhem. That is the end. Dominance at its finest. They were clean in this finals. That is the end. Six years the Mayhem have had to endure shortcomings, drama in their early years, terrible teams. Things going downhill fast when it seemed like they were turning around in Season 4. They build this new core in Season 5. You build around Checkmate. He's going to be your centerpiece. Him and someone and RuPaul. Those are your three guys from last year. You trusted to build a team around them, to develop them, to to just get it done by adding in pieces like Merit and Chorong, two really good players. Build around what you have, trust the process, have someone take a leap in his abilities, Checkmate continues to get better, RuPaul becomes quite arguably the most underappreciated support player in the game. And nothing but respect for this Florida team, and now they raise up the trophy. Congrats to Florida. This is so well deserved. They earned this. They built it from the ground up. They went total rebuild mode. They got rid of the Yaki core, the Rocky runaway core. And they went with the new system. They trusted in some rookies, and then eventually they built it into this. A two-season rebuild. It ended up being the best decision they ever could have made. Think about what happened to them. Think about it, chat. They started off as one of the bums of the league. Their management was trash. They decided to switch it up, go to Albert as their new GM, and he turned this all around. Turned the entire thing around, chat. Got rid of that garbage can bare hands. And look what they've become. To deal with what the mayhem had. Is a From the funny team that did hilarious walkouts and won seven games to Overwatch, Overwatch League Overwatch champions six years later. Unreal. Albert is the GOAT for turning this around. Shout out to Gunba, OG Valiant coach. Love that man. Shout out to McGravy for being a great assistant coach. Shout out to someone for being the second ever player to win regular season MVP and the Grand Finals. Someone has become the best tank in the world. They showed the potential. There was rumors he was good, and look what he's become. RuPaul, they trusted in him. People thought it was weird that he was the non-Korean player on the team. Proved everyone wrong. And then Merit, the Florida Mayhem trade for Merit, the Houston Outlaws' former hit scan, and look what happens. They snag him away, and he ends up being part of the reason for their downfall. Merit crushed them, absolutely dominated them. Thank you, Uber, for the send off, my guy. That was an unbelievable turnaround by the Mayhem. Six years of endurance for this. That the happy versus merit trade, well not trade, we'll go up. The merit trade is finally done. We finally know the answer who won the happy for merit swap. Good luck with Florida the future mayhem. AGP, Unbelievable stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Congrats to the mayhem. What well, this was so deserved. They played so good this year. One of the best teams all season, the most flexible. Not as many big names as other teams, but they're just insane all around. This is your world championship.
first up, RuPaul, if you don't mind, coming over They here, played such a clean playoff, and this is right, so deserved. They dominated. They outflexed everyone. Good stuff, Florida. Good stuff. Well-deserved.